Hello students, my name is Niyati Said and thanks for watching Edpedia Word videos. In this section of the video, we will continue to discuss about cell organelles present in eukaryotes or eukaryotic cells. In this section of the video, we will discuss about the third cell organelle which is present in eukaryotes that is called as mitochondria. In this section, we will learn about microscopic structure which is known as mitochondria, one of many organelles which is responsible for a lot of what goes on inside of us. We will discover how mitochondria are structured and work as well as why they are so important to cells and all living things. So students, what is mitochondria? Mitochondria is an organelle which is present in eukaryotes, a specialized structure which is found inside almost all eukaryotic cells, students. Eukaryotic cells, they contain a nucleus, okay? They contain membrane-bound organelles like mitochondria. Mitochondria, they have been called as powerhouse of the cell because it generates power in the form of ATP. ATP is what? It is adenosine triphosphate. Okay. So, that's why it is called as powerhouse of the cell because of their role in cellular respiration and energy production in the form of ATP. Now, without mitochondria, we would not be able to properly use our energy and life. Okay. So, these are clearly visible only when stained. We are talking about mitochondria which is a main organelle in eukaryotes. So these are clearly visible only when stained. Their number, their shape and their size per cell they are variable depending on physiological activity. It is sauces shaped. Okay. See the shape of mitochondria is just like sauces. Okay, or it could be cylindrical also, having a diameter of 0.2 to 1 micrometer, average of 0.5 micrometer. And what's the length of mitochondria students? 1 to 4 micrometer. So, energy is produced inside mitochondria of your cells students. This function is why mitochondria are referred as powerhouse of the cell. Students, mitochondria might be small, but they have no trouble living up to their nickname, which is called as powerhouse of the cell. Their nickname, that is powerhouse of the cell, it describes their function because it produces energy or it helps in cellular respiration. So, their nickname which is called as powerhouse of the cell, it describes their function because it's inside the mitochondria that energy rich ATP molecules are made using process of cellular respiration. So mitochondria it float around inside your cells. And uh, let's talk about its number. Number of mitochondria will vary depending on size and activity level of the cell. Okay. See, big cells, they have to perform a lot of tasks. So, they need a lot of energy. Just like a big basketball player needs a lot of food to meet their energy demands. Active cells can contain many thousands of mitochondria. This is what we see inside muscle cells too. See, it takes a lot of energy to flex your muscle, to pull your arm, okay? So, it needs lot of energy. So, muscle cells, they have lot of mitochondria. And the cool thing is, if your cell needs more energy, more mitochondria can be made and added to those cells. That's the unique characteristic of this cell organelle and that is called as mitochondria and its nickname is called as powerhouse of the cell. Let's see what's the definition of mitochondria students. Mitochondria is a membrane bound cellular structure. Okay. And it is found in most of the eukaryotes. Eukaryotes and eukaryotic cells, they both are same. So don't get confused. And mitochondria, it ranges from 0.5 to 1 micrometer in diameter. That's the diameter 0.5 to 1 micrometer.
The mitochondria they are sometimes described as power plants of the cell. They are also called as powerhouse of the cell. These organelles they generate most of the energy of the cell in the form of adenosine triphosphate. That means whatever energy is formed inside mitochondria, it is in the form of ATP, that is adenosine triphosphate, and it is used as a source of chemical energy students. That's why it is called as powerhouse of the cell. The mitochondria they are also involved in other cellular activities like signaling like cellular differentiation and cell senescence. What is senescence? Death. Cell death. And also control of cell cycle and cell growth is under the control of mitochondria. That means mitochondria it is involved in cellular activities like signaling, like cellular differentiation, like cell death. Mitochondria, it is involved in apoptosis. Apoptosis is what? It is programmed cell death. Okay. So, that is cell senescence. And it also controls cell cycle and cell growth. Okay. So, this was about the mitochondria. Let's take a look at the structure of mitochondria and see how energy is created. The first thing we notice is that mitochondria are built for performance. They are built for performance. There are two membranes. One is outer membrane and other is inner membrane. And a space between two membrane is called as intermembrane space. So the outer membrane is sleek. It is very thin. Like the body of a race car. It creates a protective barrier between the contents of the mitochondria and surrounding environment. Okay. See, this white color is uh, surrounding environment and this is the outer layer. So, outer layer is very sleek. It is just like a body of race car. It creates a protective barrier between the contents of mitochondria and surrounding environment. Now check under the hood. Hood is what? Hood is the outer membrane. So let's take a look under the hood by peeling back its outer covering. Then what will come next? It will reel inner membrane and its inner folds. So this is our inner membrane and these are the folds. Okay. So the folds of inner membrane they are referred as cristae. What are they called as? See, this is inner fold and it is called as cristae. See, so many cristae, it will increase the surface area of the membrane, which means it provides more work space. The inner membrane is the place where many of the chemical reactions needed for cellular respiration takes place. The increased work space provided by the fold means more reaction can happen. It's kind of like having a bigger desk in school. A bigger desk, it gives you more space to work. So, you can get more work done. Okay. I hope uh, now it is clear to you. So, a mitochondria, it is a double membrane bound structure with the outer membrane and inner membrane. It divides lumen into two aqueous compartments that is outer compartment and inner compartment. Inner compartment it is called as matrix and outer compartment is outer compartment. So inner membrane it forms a number of infoldings which we call it as cristae. Okay which is towards the matrix. It increases surface area. See, inner membrane is a place where many of the chemical reactions needed for cellular respiration takes place. The increased work space provided by the fold or cristate means more reaction can happen. Okay. And these are the ribosomes which are present inside the inner membrane or you can say inside the cristate. Okay. The two membranes, they have their own specific enzymes which are associated with mitochondrial function. As I told you that two membranes such as outer membrane and inner membrane. So they have their own specific set of enzymes which are associated with mitochondrial function. Matrix. Matrix is what? It is inner membrane. So 
inner membrane it possesses a circular dna a few rna molecules ribosomes and components for protein synthesis and the students please note that mitochondria it divides by fission like bacteria do bacteria divides by the process known as fission so mitochondria they divide by fission what is the function of mitochondria mitochondria they are the sites of aerobic respiration they produce energy in the form of atp so they are called as powerhouse of the cell students that's why the nickname of mitochondria is powerhouse of the cell okay now let's see or let's take a closer look at each part of the mitochondria so first is outer membrane see this is the outer membrane okay this is outer membrane this is inner membrane this is the matrix which is present inside the inner membrane these are the ribosomes which are present inside the matrix uh, of the inner membrane and these are the circular dna which is uh, denoted by purple color and these are the criste junctions intermembrane is space between outer membrane and inner membrane and criste they have uh, two complexes f0 and f1 so this is f1 and this tip is f0 okay so let's take a closer look at outer membrane this is outer membrane it is smooth and it is composed of equal amount of phospholipids and proteins i repeat it is smooth and it is composed of equal amount of phospholipid and protein it has large number of special proteins which are known as porins so porins are present in the outer membrane what are porins they are special proteins that allow movement of certain macromolecules inside and outside of the mitochondria so porins they are integral membrane proteins see plasma membrane has two kinds of protein one is internal protein and second is external protein so porin are internal membrane proteins integral and internal protein they both are same so porins they are integral membrane proteins and they allow the movement of molecule that are of 5000 daltons or less in weight to pass through it see dalton is a unit of a molecule okay so porins which are present in the outer membrane they are pore like structure they are integral membrane proteins to be more precise and they allow the movement of molecule that are of uh, 5000 daltons or less in weight to pass through it outer membrane it is freely permeable to nutrient molecule okay it is freely permeable to nutrient molecules ions and energy molecules like atp and adp molecule now comes inner membrane see this is inner membrane inner membrane of mitochondria is more complex in structure unlike outer membrane because it has cristi that is um, infoldings cristi are what they are infoldings of inner membrane okay so that's why it makes the structure more complex so inner membrane of mitochondria is more complex in structure it is folded into a number of folds many times and is known as cristi so these are cristi these infoldings they help to increase the surface area inside the organelle the cristi and the proteins of inner membrane they help aid means help in the production of atp molecules various chemical reactions they take place in the inner membrane of the mitochondria unlike outer membrane the inner membrane is strictly permeable see this uh, inner membrane it is strictly permeable that means it allows only certain molecules to pass through it it is permeable only to oxygen atp that is adenosine triphosphate and it also helps in regulating transfer of metabolites across the membrane unlike outer membrane okay so this is about the inner membrane that it is more complex in its structure because it has number of infoldings which we call it as cristi and this infolding they help to increase the surface area inside the organelle the cristi and the protein of inner membrane they help in the production of atp molecules 
various chemical reaction that take place in inner membrane of the mitochondria and unlike outer membrane inner membrane is strictly permeable that means it allows only certain molecules to pass through it like oxygen <clears throat> like atp and it also helps in regulating transfer of metabolites across the membrane okay now third is intermembrane space a space between uh, outer membrane and inner membrane is called as intermembrane space so this is intermembrane space it has same composition as that of cell cytoplasm there is a difference in protein content in the intermembrane space but it has same composition as that of cell cytoplasm okay now matrix what is matrix matrix uh, it is present inside the inner membrane matrix of the mitochondria is a complex mixture of protein and enzymes these enzymes they are important for synthesis of atp molecules mitochondrial ribosomes trna and mitochondrial dna trna is what it is transfer rna so matrix of the mitochondria it is a complex mixture of protein and enzymes these enzymes they are important for synthesis of atp molecules mitochondrial ribosome trna and mitochondrial dna okay now comes mitochondrial dna as i told you dna which is present in mitochondria it is always in the circular form so mitochondrial dna or mt dna mt means mitochondrial dna or mdna is the dna in the mitochondria rest of the dna present in the eukaryotic cells is in the nucleus in plants dna is also found in chloroplast the mitochondria they have a small amount of dna of their own and they have circular dna please note that and human mitochondrial dna it spans about 16500 dna base pair that means dna present in the mitochondria of human it has 16500 dna base pairs it represents a small fraction of total dna in cells the mitochondrial dna it contains 37 genes all these genes they are essential for normal function of mitochondria that means all these genes they are essential for carrying out normal function of mitochondria these dna they help mitochondria divide independently from the cell mitochondrial dna is maternally inherited maternally inherited means offspring it inherits mitochondrial dna from his or her mother that's why mt dna is always maternally inherited mitochondrial dna or mt dna it in most multicellular organism is circular in nature they are covalently closed that means with the help of covalent bonds they are closed that's why it attains a circular form it is double stranded dna and mitochondrial dna it is susceptible to free oxygen radical that means free oxygen radical that is nascent oxygen can damage mitochondrial dna that's why it is called as mitochondrial dna it is very susceptible to free oxygen radical or nascent oxygen okay so this was all about mitochondria which is a main cell organelle present in eukaryotes which is also called as powerhouse of the cell in my next section of the presentation we will discuss about the plastids which are present only in plants plastids are also called as chloroplasts so till then stay tuned and keep watching edipedia word videos thank you